Hello and welcome. In this demonstration, I'm going to highlight some features of a very valuable role in NetSuite called the Customer Center role. Unlike many roles and licenses within NetSuite, the Customer Center role is free to companies running NetSuite, and it's also free to the customers of those companies, regardless of the number of customers they have. For the demo today, I'm going to be playing the role of a customer that's part of a, a customer of a fictitious company called Smith Supplies. So I've logged in and I get served up to a dashboard. On that dashboard, I've got a number of things that I've, I can do if I've given permission to do so. Um, but I can also just get some quick view of status within, you know, as a, for me as a customer of Smith Supplies. For example, my outstanding balance with them, outstanding orders, uh, any number of open support cases that might be uh, might be pending, as well as open quotes. And again, based on my permissions that Smith Supplies gives me, there's also a number of things I can do from the main menu such as look at billing information or make a payment. So if I want to pay an open bill, I can do so from the customer center role. I could print a statement, uh, print a price list that might be specific to, to me if I've got special pricing from, the, from Smith Supplies, see my AR register, or see all transactions. So I could drill into any of these and take a look at the information that it served up. So in here, I'm looking at all the all the transactions that have occurred uh, with Smith Supplies, including any sales orders, quotes, payments that have been made to them, invoices, and so on. Then I've drilled down capability to view any of these transactions and the details uh, that Smith Supplies will let me see. From an order management standpoint, uh, I can easily enter an order in. So this is pretty key because as, as, a, as a customer of Smith Supplies, I want to be able to interact with them, maybe place an order 24-7 and not have to contact their customer service department. So this is a value to me to be able to do that. It's also a value to Smith Supplies because it can reduce the cost of sale, doesn't uh, require a, a resource within Smith Supplies to process this order. And again, it could be done at any time of the day or night. So I want to go ahead and enter an order in. Simply go and go to my order form. Put in a PO number and choose items from a list. All items that I pull up, I can have the let's check out what the availability is, place the order, and submit. So now it's an open sales order within the system automatically, and it can be it can go in as a pending approval order or pending fulfillment, depending on how Smith Supplies would like to handle any orders that come in through the customer center role. So similar to that, I can do, to seeing all transactions, I can definitely see all my orders that have been placed. If I just want to see sales order status, so here's the one we just put in, pending fulfillment, as well as many other orders that have been placed in the past. If we see that there's any kind of tracking information, I could drill into that particular order and easily go in and then click the link to the tracking number information and get tracking information for one or multiple tracking numbers. Similar to entering an order in and viewing orders, I can also do the same thing with quotes. I can enter a quote in, see my open quotes. If I have an issue with a product or service uh, from Smith Supplies, I can also easily issue a return. So uh, get the, the process of an RMA started and then a representative of Smith Supplies can then take that re that request and process that through. I can then view the status of any open RMAs that are out there, and also view aggregately what have what have we been ordering from Smith Supplies over time. Here's my total order, maybe the last order date, uh, last pricing that was given to us for each of these items. And lastly, on the on the actual home dashboard there's the ability to enter support cases in 24 seven. So again, I could be working on something at 10 o'clock at night. If I have an issue, I can put in a support case and enter that in, it goes right to the Smith Supply CRM uh, group. They can address that uh, in a timely manner. And I can monitor all of my open support cases and uh, you know, ensure that things are being taken care of in a timely manner. Aside from the, the home dashboard, there's a number of different things that can be added to the customer center role using user-defined tabs. So in, in this example, and this is not a uh, 
the end all be all of what can be done with the customer center, but just, just a few examples. I could have a very analytical tab that serves up some report snapshots to me as the customer to see, you know, what graphically, what are my you know total open quotes, the value of those quotes, total open invoices, to just get a quick snapshot of those, maybe view in a different format, or get more of a list information view, save search view of open invoices by due date. Again, just some examples of the, what analytics can be served up. Smith Supplies can also publish valuable information to the customer center so that I can be viewing product information, maybe reviewing any kind of uh, procedures that might be in place to work with Smith Supplies, payment and pricing policies and so on as I drill into different knowledge-based topics. Then I can go out, drill deeper, and ultimately get to information, say, for price match guarantee. So here's now all the details about their price match guarantee. Uh, if I wanted to get there a little bit sooner, I could have just gone right to the search and typed in the word guarantee or price match, and it could have brought this information from, uh, you know, as opposed to drilling down from topic to topic. Lastly, save search information can be published as well. In this example, Smith Supplies may want it to allow their customers to view their item catalog, taking a look at some images, item names, uh, availability of those items in real time, and then also be able to potentially drill into things like an owner's manual. And right from the customer center, be able to learn about the products, maybe download this right to my local computer and have this at my fingertips without having to contact Smith Supplies directly. So in summary, the customer center role does offer a lot of value. It's, uh, again, free to customers, free to companies running that suite. It can be very flexible to support uh, information that might be user-defined within, within an organization. It's got a lot of useful tools right from the main dashboard is from the context of billing, order management, and support. Analytics can be served up. And again, product information or any kind of knowledge-based information that might be helpful. This concludes a demonstration of the customer center role.